Welcome back to Elizabeth Plants. My name's Elizabeth and today I am unpacking a box and it's a complete surprise. Garden Goods Direct has sent me a package and I was not expecting a package. I can't find an email. So we are going to open it up and see what the heck is inside. This is a sponsored video because I was talking to them about a collaboration. However, the box was a total surprise and I'm actually really excited. I love surprises. So we're gonna dive in. Okay, so because I am filming on the floor, uh, camera angles are a little bit small and weird. Top of my head's chopped off. I don't think anybody cares. But this is the box we are opening. I've already sliced the top up and a zip tie popped out, but that's all I've seen, that's all I know. And I'm wondering what in a small box like this is gonna require a zip tie, or if the zip tie is part of the packaging. I don't know. Let's jump in. Okay, so I can't pull. Oh, you know what, I'm so silly. The box literally does have zip ties on it, so this is part of the security in the package. So immediately right away I can tell that there's a plant in there and there's a heat pack. Their packaging is very interesting. The heat pack is stapled to the flap here. Neat. Easy for unpacking. The package for it is also in here. I don't understand why why um this isn't like the only company I've ever seen do this but why they do that. Why they put the package for the warmer in the box. Is it just so that like I have the the caution notes and things of the brand? Not sure, because they don't want to deal with their own trash. Not sure, don't know. But okay, now what we are seeing is a plant. I know what it is because I read the packing slip. Do you know what it is? You have five, four, three, two, one. If you didn't figure it out, you're gonna find out soon. So I'm going to have to cut into the zip ties. I want to give you another close-up of the zip tie situation. I've never seen anything packaged like this before. That's so strange. And then like this heat pack is heavy. Like, oops, it's huge and it's heavy. And it was just like sitting on top of the plant. Um, so now we gotta break these zip ties. And these are some thick zip ties. I don't know if my scissors are gonna be able to. Oh, yeah, they can. Oh yeah. Okay. Ooh, he's heavy. Must have been watered before um, shipping. It's a Mikan's and there's a lot of like orangey yellow going on, which concerns me because my Mikan's that doesn't do very well is these colors. Uh, particularly when it's struggling. But it was zip tied down, it's in this little bag for mess avoidance. And then it's got what looks like raw pasta, or like pasta, angel hair pasta in there, but not very much. So it doesn't really block the soil from going anywhere. I guess it did a little bit. Um, we've got a couple of mushy leaves down in the soil. The soil is very wet. Now I have browsed their website and I know that they have like planters and other things as well as plants. I would love some of their planters. They don't have like a, an absolutely massive collection, but I did like some of the ones that I saw. Okay, so we've got the, uh, more healthy leaves than not healthy leaves. I think it's just easier to see the not healthy leaves because behind the camera is a window and so the um, red glows through the leaves in the sunlight. But when I like actually get up in there and I look, we've got some bend, some bent leaves, but not, not much, not much damage. It's just so wet. So it has me worried about root rot. We've got this cute little Mikans to show for it. Super, super cute. Well, you can see it was cut there. Got a couple of damaged leaves, which just makes sense. It had a heavy heat pack sitting on top of it. And I do not know how long this was in shipping. Uh, I don't know when it was sent. Shipping label doesn't appear to be dated. Okay, the packing slip says um, that, that like the order date is um, December 6th. And today is December 11th, so five-ish days. 
if the um, order date is also the shipping date, that I don't know. I did not receive tracking information, so I don't have I don't have any of that information at my disposal to check for you. But the plant looks pretty good. They send it with a heat pack, which uh, I like when they do that this time of year. While it may not be like icy, snowy, freezy here where I am, it is in a lot of places, and it might be where this plant came from. So that's super, super duper handy. I love that. There's not really much to say about this plant. It's just one plant. It's a little plant, which you see is what I have right now. I definitely will keep you guys in the loop on how this plant goes. And if you saw my like, how are they doing after the move video, you will have seen that my mic ends or you were, would have at least heard, I don't remember if I included a, a picture, that my mic ends is, it's crap. It's been crap since I got it. I've had no good luck with that mic ends, except it like survived a little bit better in LECA which isn't saying much, uh, but this guy is a lot more full and I'm hoping that I have much better luck uh, with this guy. I will probably plant up what is of my micans in with this guy in a sort of larger pot, like a, like a deeper pot or maybe just a wider pot, but not too much bigger and see see what we can make out of it. If I have any codes or any links or anything like that, it will be in the description. So definitely check that out. I put codes down there all the time. So worth a look into. If you like these little surprise unboxings, give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more from this company from Garden Goods Direct, or if you want to see more about unboxing plants in general, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe and ring the bell to see my content more frequently and be informed when it goes live. And I will see you next time. <laughs>